What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And in case some of you are wondering what the whole gospel multi-tracks thing is, it's a new service that me and a couple of my gospel musician friends are launching. Uh, we're going to be offering stems, click tracks, and loops to some of the latest and greatest gospel music songs. The service is almost ready to launch, so check out the links on the screen and the links in the description for more details. I want you to sign up for our mailing list because we're going to be giving away some great stuff here real soon. So without delay, let's jump on in this. Now, as you saw in the intro video, I was controlling Ableton from within main stage. And what we're gonna talk about today is how to connect these two programs together via rewire so that they can send audio and MIDI information one to each other, all right? As you can see here, I have main stage open. And in the background here, I have Ableton Live open as well. And I'm gonna drag Ableton over here that you can, so you can see what's happening as I do things inside main stage. Now I have two songs loaded up here that our praise team sings. When I press the first pad here, it starts playing the intro of Break Every Chain. Notice it appears that the audio track that has clips from I Can Only Imagine starts playing as well. And that's because it is. And I'm gonna go over why that is later in this video. Now, if I press the second pad, it automatically launches the second clip on this track here inside of Ableton, and so on, all the way up to the last clip. But the audio is playing through main stage, and the MIDI signals and tempo information is being sent from main stage to Ableton. Notice, when I go over here and click on I Can Only Imagine, the tempo automatically switches here inside Ableton. This is all being accomplished through Rewire. So what is Rewire? Rewire is an inter-app audio connection that allows you to basically send MIDI and audio data between two applications. Think of it as a digital patch cord that can let you run audio from say Pro Tools to Logic or Logic to Reasons, or in this case, Main Stage to Ableton. And the way this all works is that one application becomes the master and the other becomes the slave. The master application can control things like transport, audio routing, and MIDI inside of the slave application. Now you may be saying, why would I need to do this? Or what's the value in connecting these two programs together? And the answer is to establish a better workflow. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm pretty much into simplicity in playing and performance. Uh, so that's why I pretty much just stuck to main stage for the most part. I had Ableton and really hadn't used it much because I don't like to be in service or in a performance and have to fumble with two or three applications at the same time. I'd rather just work with one. So I put Ableton to the side so I can figure out how to use them both together seamlessly like one program. And I finally figured it out. So now it's like having one program. So now you can stop using two different controllers, one for main stage and one for Ableton to launch clips and just do it all from your keyboard or your main control surface. So how do you accomplish this? It simply requires changing up a couple of settings and then adding a channel strip inside main stage to route the audio through. So first, let's go over here to main stage preferences and click on the audio section if it's not already on that section. Then make sure that you have enable rewire host support checked. Once you've done this, you never have to do any other setup ever again. Just make sure that you open up main stage first and then open up Ableton second. The first program that opens always becomes the master and the second, the slave. Now let's take a look at how to set things up both in Ableton and in main stage. First, here in main stage, once you've established a rewire connection, you're gonna to want to create a couple of patches for each of the songs that you wanna control from main stage. So let's do that. For those who may be new to main stage, to create a new patch, click on the plus sign in the upper corner here in the patch list area. And we're gonna name this first patch, Break Every Chain. And name this second one, I can only imagine. Now for time's sake, I'm gonna load my save channel strips for the sounds that I use for these songs, which is a good idea to do if you wanna be able to load up these exact channel strips at a moment's notice. So let's load them in.
Okay, now that they are loaded in, let's move on to the next step, which is routing the audio into main stage from Ableton. What we're going to do first is on each of these patches, load an external instrument channel. Now, on the one that says break every chain, we're going to click here and hold on the input section and then mouse over Ableton Live and choose RW, or which stands for rewire, mix left and right. Okay? And then over here on Only Imagine, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to choose RW, 3, and 4. Okay? Rewire will give you up to 64 inputs and outputs to route the audio through. But remember, you will be limited to how many outputs you can use based on what version of Ableton you have. So now that we have that set up, we need Mainstage to tell Ableton what tempo to change to when we switch to the song in the patch list. This is done by clicking on the song in the patch list and then clicking Attributes and then check the box that says Change Tempo 2. Then you're going to move the slider or click and type in the tempo that you need. For Break Every Chain, the tempo is 113. So we're going to slide it on over to that. And now let's go over here to Only Imagine, and the tempo here is 126. Now let's bring Ableton back up. Now, as you can see, when I switch songs in the patch list, the tempo changes inside of Ableton as well. Now that we have set up everything that we need to do in main stage, let's go over to Ableton and show how this is set up. In Ableton, you're gonna wanna have an audio track for each song that you wanna play through main stage. In this case, I only need two. So I'll go up here to create and then click on add audio track, or I can simply press Command T on my Mac keyboard. Next, you're gonna to wanna to navigate via Ableton's file browser and find the stem tracks that you have created inside of your recording software for each song. For the purpose of this video, I've already added my folders in. So I click over here on Break Every Chain and drag my pre-cut tracks over here to the clip sections in an audio track. Now I'll do the same for Only Imagine. I cut my song into sections like verse and chorus, etc., uh, inside of Logic, but I'm not going to show that in this video. And I have another video that's posted on my channel, and I posted the link in the description that shows how to do that. So check that out if you need to know how to, you know, set your sections up inside of your DAW. Now that we've got our sections loaded up for each song, let's tell Ableton where to send the audio for each track. On Break Every Chain here, we will click under Audio 2 and we will choose rewire out, and we'll choose in the second dialog box, mix left, right, which is the same thing that we did inside of main stage when we set up our external instrument. On the second track where only imagine is, we will choose rewire out, and we will choose bus three, four. Now the next thing we need to do is to check our clip sections inside each track to make sure that they are set up correctly. Double click on the, each clip and make sure that warp is on if you want the sections to be able to loop, you know, in case the leader decides that they want to do the verse again. Uh, if you don't want to loop them, then just turn warp off. But if you want to loop the sections, click on warp and click loop and make sure the tempo here matches the song tempo. So I will change this tempo to 126 and then I'll click and do the same for each clip. Also, once you have changed the tempo, you must change the loop points. Let's go over here and scroll over to the right and drag the top loop cursor all the way to the end. And remember to do this for each section to make sure that you have effectively set up all of your loop points. Now we're almost done here and the only thing left to do is to set up your controller to launch the clips in each section. When Ableton is in rewire mode, it loses the ability to connect MIDI hardware to it which is not an issue in this case because Ableton will be receiving its MIDI signals from main stage. Over here to the far right, you have the master section. In this section is where you will tell Ableton to launch the clips in each section from your controller. 
click on the MIDI button up here and then click on section one and then on your controller, press whatever button or pad that you want to assign to this section. Then repeat this for each section that you have. If you don't have a controller, this is not an issue because you can click on the key button up here instead and assign each section to a number or a letter on your Mac's keyboard. And that's it. Now all you have to do is go back into main stage, click on your song and start playing. Now for those of you who are interested, I'm selling this main stage template in my template store. Click on the link in the description and it'll take you to it. Uh, then you can map your personal controller and set up everything inside Ableton and just go. Well, that's it for today, boys and girls. Don't forget to subscribe to Gospel Multitracks YouTube channel and sign up for our mailing list on our website. We've got a big giveaway coming later this week. and We're going to be giving away the stems that were used inside of this video. So you need to get on that list so you'll be the first person to know about it within the next few days. So comment, share, tweet this video. Facebook this video, and we'll see you later.